So what is going on everyone, Hermina Bass with you here, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Spotify without the help of the Microsoft Store app. And let us begin. So firstly, you're going to have to go to this website here. I'm going to be putting all the links in the description and you are going to navigate onto the collections tab here. And then if you're also interested in getting a social media boost, you're going to have to go ahead and go to this tab here. But right now we're going to be using the files tab here and then scroll down to script installation files and then scroll down and then go to winget. Okay. And there you go. So this is what we're going to be needing. And we are going to be also needing the PowerShell app here. So go ahead and go to the start menu here and then type in PowerShell. Okay, so there we go. And we are actually going to go ahead and right click onto the PowerShell and run it as administrator, then click yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is just going to be a copy and paste exercise. It's not a big deal. So go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and reduce this a little bit here. Okay, so okay, so since we're running as administrator, we're gonna have to first check if uh, the execution policies are granted. So go ahead and press. Okay, so uh, okay, so in my case, it's unrestricted. If you have any restrictions, you're gonna have to use this command here. But since mine is unrestricted. I don't have to use it okay so we're gonna have to move on to the next command here go ahead and write uh highlight this right click copy and then come on to here right click to paste and then press enter you're gonna have to wait for some seconds okay there we go so that is complete and now we are actually going to go ahead and do the download here install script and then just gotta go ahead and Okay, I want it to be precise to the I itself here. Okay, go ahead and copy. Come into the PowerShell, right click and then press enter. Okay, so the installation is actually uh, installed script and something. Okay, that is complete. And now finally, we are actually going to go onto this last command here. Go ahead and right click and copy. And then come on here, right click and press enter. Okay, so in my case, you're gonna realize that okay, Winget is already installed, so it's gonna be exiting you when you install it. Okay, mine is already installed, so I'm not going to be needing any other installations. It's already there, but if you don't have it installed already, those are the processes. And then now let's move on. Okay, so we are gonna to have to go ahead and highlight this one. Go ahead and highlight the first link here. Go ahead and open it. And then we're going to go back and highlight the second one here. Right click and then go to the website. Okay, let me go ahead and now uh, enlarge this. Okay, so we have two websites here that have been uh, web links that have been opened here, which are in a short period of time. Okay, let me, let me change this to maybe US. Press enter. It's all the same, it depends on which country you're in, but I love installing apps from the US website since uh, most of the apps are being limited into only the US websites. Okay, so in this link, this is a, this is going to be a li our link generator. This is going to be actually where we're going to be copying links for the Microsoft app. And this here is actually going to be the link generator. So we're going to be copying links from here that we uh, that, ha that have to be used in the Microsoft Store into the link generator website. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see, you can sc scroll down here and check for Spotify, or you can just have to go come here and search for Spotify. Go ahead and go to Spotify. Okay, there we go. So it doesn't matter if you, if, if you try downloading here, it's not gonna work. And if you try to view it in store, if you don't, if you're not logged in and you don't want to use the store already so this is what we're going to do so you're going to have to go ahead and copy this link here go ahead and copy and then come into this other website here you're going to have to just paste oh just right click okay and paste 
this link here and press enter okay this link generator is going to generate for you links that are only going to expire in like 5 to 10 to 15 minutes so you have to be as first as possible if you want to use this up okay so what you're going to do is you are going to have to come and scroll down here so what you what you're looking at here uh is the actual app and the actual app actually has to be down here links here have different system types and if you want to check your system type you're going to have to come here to settings and okay you're going to have to come to the windows tab here and then uh, just type in settings go ahead and open your settings and then you are going to have to go to the systems tab here and then scroll down go to the about section here and you are going to have to check for your system type here so in my case i'm using a 64-bit operating system is what i will be using for the installation of the links on this website here okay so if you look closely here these are dependencies and finally down here you're going to realize that we have the spotify music but then we have the 64 bit still they're also separated by the type of system that you are using so we're going to have to go ahead and download the first dependency here let's go ahead so we're looking for only the app x the dot app x we don't need to install the block map in this case okay so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to download the 64 bit of this just go ahead and click on it and automatically it's going to come here to download go to the three buttons here just command it to keep and then say keep anyway okay so the file has been downloaded so you have to note where exactly it has been downloaded okay we have one there okay so we're gonna go ahead and scroll down okay this is uh, vcl has been finished okay so uh, let's go ahead so we also have this one here which has some numbers here so they're different but you have to be you have to download all the in order to for spotify to work it needs these dependencies to work they have to be installed on your computer okay so go ahead okay okay so go ahead and install this one here the vlc with the 140 so we're going to be looking for the 64 bit that is not a block map but we have the dot app x bundle so just go ahead and click on this one so automatically it's going to launch a download and we're going to be clicking on the three bus three dots here go ahead and keep it and then keep anyway and we're good to go okay so we're going to scroll down again and we are actually having the microsoft windows app runtime 1.2 and we're going to be looking for the one of your system type minus 64 bit and i am going to go ahead and install this one just click come back here the three dots keep and then keep anyway it's going to be downloading there we go and finally we are going to choose the system type app that we're going to be using if you're using 64 or 32 bit this will be for you if you're using an arm 64 bit um, the processor that will be for you but mine is here the 64 bit app go ahead and click on it and just come back here to the three dots keep and then keep anyway okay it's a little bit big i think it's 150 MBs. so we're gonna have to wait for it to download for now okay there we go so the download is complete we're gonna go ahead and open show in the folder okay so i'm, I'm gonna try to sort so by the modified let me have them all in one place there we go so let me just have all of them in one place come on yeah so by tech modified let them all be up here so this is our final app here so we're gonna have to install all these just so just double click 
to install just go ahead and install this one yes okay it's going to do installation okay where is it microsoft uh, installation failed okay don't force it just go ahead and try installing the second one here yep okay reason app installation failed message enable because the following app apps need to be closed okay i need to close some apps here in order for these to work so we are going to go into our processes here and look for xbox yep xbox gaming yes so we're going to close this and again we are just just typing maybe m to look for any microsoft xbox thing that is running in the background so it happens to be that we've closed all of them isn't it yeah so let's try again let's go ahead and try again i i, I i'm sorry i did not read the first okay go ahead and install this try installing okay just go ahead and click yes come on okay there's a bad installer <laughs> we need to close this why copy so it seems we need to close most of the applications here oh Okay, let's try installing again. So go ahead and install this. Install. Yes. Microsoft desktop. Let's look for it. Microsoft content. Close our PowerShell and run this again. Okay, let's try again. If it if it fails this, I'm gonna have to just reboot my computer. Install. Let's just go ahead and skip this. Okay, install. Metered. Uh, let's see. Okay, this one has actually installed. Just go ahead and close this. Okay, if it fails to do whatever you want it to do, just go ahead and restart your computer. And it will do just fine. Okay, just go ahead. Okay, so I'm hoping this. I think I think these already. This dependency is already installed. This is why it's telling me to close whatever it's telling me to close. Okay, so finally we are going to have to go ahead and install this Spotify app here. So you don't never install this first before you try installing these dependencies first. Okay, go ahead and install the Spotify app here. Okay, it's there. Just go ahead and install. Just say yes. There we go. It has actually accepted. I think I already have those dependencies in there. That's why they're telling me to go ahead and close some apps. Okay, there we go. So now we have finally installed Spotify without the help of the Microsoft Store app. And here we go. So we have the app installed. And if we check closely here now we do have this Spotify app so you're gonna go ahead and sign in your app and use it the way you want
Okay, so that is how you install Spotify on your Windows without the help of the Microsoft Store app. So, if you found this video interesting or if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. I will appreciate if you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. So if you're also interested in activating or boosting your social media, you're going to have to go ahead and log in and create an account and boost your social media account. So if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. I will appreciate if you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.